Well, we do have an, our next frontal boundary approaching. That means we're going to have a tighter pressure gradient, stronger, gustier winds. It's going to last for the entirety of the rest of the weekend into the work week on Monday. And of course, we're still watching out for the chance for showers and storms, which is why we do have a marginal threat for severe thunderstorm activity issued. And that is what spawned the uh, first alert weather day in which we do have gusty winds, heavy downpours and hail as the primary threats. And we could possibly still potentially see an isolated tornado. We can't rule that risk out, but that's probably on the bottom tier for our risk that we have before you. So here's a look at the precipitation moving across the Gulf Coast. That'll be coming our direction early just after sunrise tomorrow. For now, though, increased cloud coverage is what we expect here in central Florida tonight, and that'll keep your fairly warm temperatures. Those are likely to stall out in the 50s tonight, but here's where we are across Daytona Beach. We were perfectly sunny earlier in the afternoon, but now mostly cloudy skies have just moved back into the picture after sunset, and that has temperatures in the middle of the 60s currently. Surrounding cities are still hanging on tight to the lower 70s for the moment. We show 71 degrees in Claremont, 71 in Winter Haven as well, and 70 even in Orlando. Ultimately, the Further we move into the evening, the cloudier we're going to get. And we could possibly see those first few lighter showers as early as 5, 6, and 7 o'clock in Orlando as temperatures will be in the lower 60s to start off the day. So that system of high pressure, that's what kept us dry earlier this afternoon. But as we move into the early morning hours on Sunday, we start to see the rain across the Gulf Coast and those showers will pick up as temperatures try their best to wiggle into the 70s later in the afternoon. And that's when we see that better chance for thunderstorm activity across northern Florida and we'll still hang on to breezy conditions here in central Florida as well. The system of low pressure that's the driving force behind this moisture that's going to linger across the I-10 quarter and still wrapping around it. We do have some Leftover showers across your Monday forecast. We'll call it a 50% chance for rain on Monday, but here's how your Sundays shapes up. We're much warmer overnight thanks to that blanket of clouds. Light morning showers are back at 7 o'clock, and then we start to hear that rumble of thunder out west by 8, maybe 9. But all throughout the afternoon, we will be breezy here in central Florida. We'll take a closer look with your future cast. We'll time it out hour by hour. We see those gusty winds in Winter Haven by 930 and heavier showers across Polk and Osceola County. But the strongest rain that we are likely going to see that's going to be in our northernmost counties across the I-10 quarter. That's where we could possibly maybe see a spin up if there is one going to happen. Better chance, though, that only one, maybe two of these storms do become severe before Sunday is said and done. But the good news is for the Pro Bowl, we're trying our best to get the rain out of the picture by three. Still cloudy, though, as we continue throughout the duration of the game. And as we take a look at your rain trends, we see day by day we are slowly decreasing that chance for rain. So by Wednesday, we will be saying hello to more sunshine as temperatures return to the mid 60s. And then we're in the 70s from Thursday all the way to next Saturday.